is our pilot vertical farm, and this is our hydroponic system. Extreme weather events like forest fires and flooding destroyed a lot of farmland in BC last year. But local researchers are working on efficient farming methods that could help with future supply chain issues. I mean, we've had heat dome this summer, mm -hmm. fires. Um, and also the flooding, so it's been a pretty rough, uh, I guess, year for, or even just six months for uh, traditional agriculture. And we've been able to grow through all of that because we're indoors, we don't need the sun, we don't need rain, uh, we handle everything ourselves, so the plants get exactly what they need when they need it. Quanto Tech's vertical farm has rows of crops stacked tall, which reduces the space required to grow. During last year's flood in the Fraser Valley, produce from the vertical farm was floodproof, and the organization donated food to those affected. The whole city of Chilliwack completely cut off from the traditional food supply, so we worked with the local neighboring First Nation to provide a consistent round of leafy greens uh, to their community. Vandergrot says the project is pest free. There's no spraying of pesticides and no soil. The roots are submerged in water and the water is also recycled using less water than traditional farming. That's what helps them last a lot longer and uh, keep their nutrient value much higher. I think this is the future, utilizing minimum resources, producing more food. Vertical farming can also be set up in small spaces. Little farms at the, uh, near the grocery stores or near where the population is concentrated. Mm -hmm. You can have this in the basements or rooftops or anywhere you like. Quanto Tech says indoor vertical farming produces consistent crops unaffected by weather and it's fast. It takes about uh, 30 to 35 days. Okay. Um, and throughout the life cycle, they'll stay in the propagation shelf for about two weeks, mm -hmm. and in these shelves for about two to three weeks. That's a total of 35 days. With this vertical farm, you can grow hundreds of types of leafy greens, herbs, and soft fruit. So this one is oak leaf, oh. this one is loose leaf, um, then this one is butterhead, okay. and we also have romaine, which is right over here. I'm about to try this lettuce grown here by researchers. Tastes like lettuce. Quanto Tech is planning to expand the pilot in the near future. In Chilliwack, Angela Bauer, City News.